This is the third video in our video series on dates and times and we're just going to look at a component that we can use for when we want to display dates and times to the user or if we want the user to enter in a date and time and we can use this particular component and it's called the date time picker component. So let's just talk about it quickly. Now to get the date time picker, uh, it's quite a long thing to say, we can, you go to, you can search for it in the tool palette but it is under the Win32 uh, section of the tool palette and there you can see there's the date time picker and when you click on it and you put it onto your form it looks something like that um, at first at design time and when you run it and you run the program and you click on that little arrow you get an option of it looking like that so you can select which date it is and so on so let's go into Delphi and let's just see the properties that are available for this date time picker so here we're in Delphi. I'm going to come here and search for date time. There you can see under 132 is a date time picker and I'll put it on the screen. And so there you can see our date time picker. Um, you can't click on the arrow while it's in design view. But let's just check out a couple of the properties. Um, first of all, I'm going to call D date time picker date. That's what the name I'm going to give it. Now just some properties for this date time picker. Uh, things that you must be aware of. Now, if you want to specify the date that is mentioned there, then you want to use the date property. So I can specify that date and it actually gives you an option like the like the date time picker to go pick a particular date. So maybe I want to make it the 1st of January 2021. So that's the date I want to. You'll see that is the date over there. Now, um, if I have a button and I want to get that particular value, let's take all the code out that we did in the previous example. Um, if I want to get the input from that date time picker, uh, then I would do something like this. I'd say, let's say I've got this dtemp date variable, and that is equal to the date time picker variable or component dot date. If I could get the date, then it'll get fetch the date that he selected currently in the date time picker, and then I'm going to show a message uh, date to string of this d temp variable so let's just test this out so at the moment it's set to the first of the first 2021 so if i display it tells me the first of the second no sorry it's the first of the second sorry, it's first of february yeah it's the first of february at the moment so what i can do is now if i change this date let's say i change it to halloween in 2021 do you see i've changed it now when i display it goes and fetch the value that is currently in the date time picker. So that's how you can get input or output for the date time picker. So there we go. So that's the date feature of it. Some other features of the date time picker, if I click on it, the other one is the, so when, when you're using the dates, there's the different formats. There's a date format. You can do the short or the, not Mr. Long, but the DF Long, which would be like that. Okay. Uh, okay. So you can choose which one you want. Um, the other one I want you to be aware of is the min date and max date. So you can specify, for example, if they're only allowed to type in a date within a particular range. Um, maybe they're only allowed to select a date between now and the end of the month. Then you can, I can limit, just very similar to a spin edit, you can limit the numbers that you can choose. You can do that over there. Now you guys are saying, okay, that's a T date time picker. How do we get the, the, the time? Well, that's where we come to the kind option. If I just find it over here, there's the kind. So at the moment it's set to date. So if I change it to time, you'll see now it's recording the time. And so when I go to the bottom here, boom, 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 you'll see there's a time value property. Okay, so that would be whatever the current time is. And so there we go. So there's the time. So if we were going to do the same thing we did with the date option so let's say we were going to get the t or we've got a t date variable t date is equal to the date picker property dot time value go get the time that is currently stored there and then we can display the time time to string of that t temp so if we did that let's see what would happen so if i click on it now it would show you the date or the time that it is currently in it. And if you want to change the values, you can actually click on each one individually and change it to what you want it to be, something like that. Okay, so you can play around with that. And if I display it, you see it goes and fetches whatever the time is in it at that particular point. 
Okay, so that's how you can use the time property. And let's go back and boom. So there we go. So that's the date, different date and time. So as you can see, all those properties. So there's the time that we discussed. Um, we discussed, the, obviously changed the name. We spoke about the max and min date. We spoke about changing from storing dates or storing times. You've got those options available to you. The date formats you've got available to you. Um, the other one is date mode. If you see, if we change it to a date, I'm going to go back to dates. So change the kind. Where's kind again? Kind. There we go. Let's make the date. If I go to the date uh, mode, you can, like we did with the time, you notice in the time we could change the, the like the, the hours, minutes individually. At the moment, it's a combo box, which means when you click on it, that box pops down and you can see the date. If I change it to a up down option, that'll be very similar to what we had with the date, with the time now, now where you click on each one individually and go up or down depending on the value that the user wants. That's how you can interact with it. Okay, so there's all the features of a date time picker. So just remember it's a Win32 add-on. Now you can use dates and times as well as show them to the user as well as get dates and times from the user. For more videos in this video series on dates and times as well as other videos in Delphi, please go to our YouTube channel. We'd love to hear from you. We'd love for you to subscribe and give us some subscribers. Also like our videos. We'd love to see which ones you enjoy and leave a comment if you have any comments. We'd love to hear from you. And remember, don't do it the long way. Do it the Mr. Long Way.